What's up, everybody? So, um, I've been getting a lot of, um, I got a comment on my page today, on my YouTube channel, saying that I say the same things over and over again. And sometimes I do, you know, because I make a lot of videos. And sometimes I feel like I said things in one video that I forgot to say in the next video. You know, that's why. But the video I was going to make today, I was going to talk about, like, uh, religion. And <clears throat> what I feel in part is, like, like I said before in another video earlier today, religion is a, a horizontal subject. It doesn't go anywhere. And I think the main thing that got that has black people messed up in black neighborhoods is religion. And you gotta understand how religion works and how uh how it all started in my opinion. You know, like it started with slavery. Like I said, slavery went through three phases. First phase was economical. It was always an economical issue in slavery up until the Darwin theory. And then they tried to say that the powers that be were trying to say that black people just were um, evolved from animals and we just couldn't think logically and shit like that. And that was the Darwin phase. And then it went through the last phase, which is going through now, is the evangelical, which is religion. And you got to realize, like, the first thing Europeans did and slave traders did, they were smart enough to separate the man from the woman and, you know, indoctrinate the woman because the woman is the child's first teacher. If the mother's indoctrinated with a lot of bullshit, then she's going to indoctrinate her children with a lot of bullshit. And that goes on today. You know, like, single mothers are the easiest to manipulate. That's what happens in the housing products today. It's filled with single mothers. And they're the easiest to manipulate. And that's why, these, you know, like, these most guys in jail, that's in jail under some court supervision or on parole or probation, come from single-parent homes. You know, they're easy. even these guys that clean up their gay, they come from single mothers. And like I say a lot of times, gay is when a boy loves his mother so much that he wants to be like her. You know, she's his... People are known by virtue of who they spend their time around the most. So if a boy is under his mother all the time, that's who he's going to act like. It's real simple. But, you know, like... The powers that be, slave traders, knew that you separate the man from the woman, you indoctrinate the woman, and in return she's going to indoctrinate her babies. And that's what goes on in our housing products today. That's why you see so many women in the church today, single mothers and shit, you know. And, 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 and people like to pick and choose the parts of the Bible that they like, and the parts that they don't like, they throw it away. You know, they treat religion like it's a turkey on Thanksgiving dinner. They eat the parts they like and the parts they don't like, they throw away. And like I said earlier, a woman's idea of a good relationship is a relationship where everything goes her way. She wants to be in control at all times. She wants to be the boss. And, you know, like, and, and that's why, you know, like, I, be, I don't agree with beating your children and shit like that. And women be beating their children. You know, like, women be like, I beat the shit out of my son. I beat him. And they can't tell you why they beat him. Like, he, I beat him because he bad. Well, he comes from them. Look, he comes from a bad fucking example. The mother is bad. So, you know, the apple don't fall too far from the tree. If the child is bad, that's because the mother had bad parenting skills. And, like, you... you and the thing about women and these children is like they always do what their mother did, and then they do what their mother did. Like it's like they never stop to read books about parenting and 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 to try to make the situation better. But back to what I was talking to about religion. What religion does is is um like we all have a human nature. A pre sex is a prevalence thing. We all gonna have sex, but religion tries to make you feel like it's bad to have sex, and they tell you that you're supposed to wait till you get married. Now, who's going to wait till they get married? Because that's an urge in you. That's like, telling, that's like me telling you, um, you got to go to the gym and work out, but you can't drink no water. You know, that's, that's a natural instinct to want water and you're working out. You know, food, clothing, and water is natural. It's a prominent thing. You need water, you need food, and you got to have sex. If you, if you don't release yourself, it's going to come out some other kind of way. But the powers that be know that, so they manip they play on your emotions by telling you that you're a sinner. Cause nothing in the world is perfect. Nothing in the world is perfect, and the, and and nothing in the universe is the, the universe doesn't create anything perfectly round. So there's always gonna be ups and downs in life, and as long as there's gonna be crime and ups and downs, people are always gonna try to make you feel like the world can always be better. And one day when you die, you're gonna go to heaven, which is all bullshit. 
you know. I mean, who's ever died and went to heaven and came back and told you what it's like? Whoever died and went to hell and came back and a physical death, not a spiritual death, a physical death. Who's ever died a, a physical death, went to hell and came back? And like I always say, how hot can hell be that you're going to burn forever but never burn up? But like I say, what they do, you know, you got all these Bibles out telling that you're a sinner, telling that you're imperfect and you got to live up to the glory of God, which is bullshit because nobody can do it. Nobody can go their whole life without having sex because their ass going to go crazy. And to me, that's why you see a lot of these women out here going crazy. And, and the bed, I think they can't find a man to get a dog or some other shit. Or they have children. You know, they can't control the man they with till they get to, they take all their fucking frustrations out on the children and shit like that. But I just want to say that, I, you know, like I think religion is bullshit. I think most pastors are full of shit. I think most rabbis are full of shit. I think most priests are full of shit. And I think religion is full of shit. And and a good way to tell when you're in a bad neighborhood is when you see a lot of churches. And that's why the hood is fucked up. Because everybody, because they always feel like church gives them a reset button. They can fuck you over, then press the reset button. Go, go to church, press the reset button. God will forgive them and they can start all over again. Then they can fuck you over again. Go to church, play for forgiveness. Go back outside, fuck you over. They just keep doing the shit over and over again. That's all it is. And you know, like, the, the, the most holiest ones are the ones that's full of shit the most. And I'm not here to knock them, but I'm just here to knock, you know, like, I think it's bullshit. And that's what religion does. It plays on your emotions. It plays on, it plays against your natural and your primal instincts, and it makes you feel guilty about the way you feel. That's all.